Hi everybody, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we're going to talk about Dolby Atmos and setting that up on Apple TV TVOS 12, which is a new version that's just been released. It's in beta 1. Um, the trials and tribulations that I've had with that, and also how you can get Dolby Atmos working through your amp. Let's go, guys. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I noticed that tvOS was released uh, in beta for Apple developers about a week ago and I jumped on the bandwagon, got a version of it, downloaded it and put it onto my Apple TV up here because um, I was keen to try and find out whether the Dolby Atmos has been enabled in tvOS 12. Now as you know I've got my, uh, my amp which has got the Dolby Atmos um, capability but I've not really been able to use it. So you can buy Ultra uh, DVDs, Ultra Blu-rays, um, and you can use the Dolby Atmos off of that. Um, what I noticed when i uh, been using my Apple TV on the previous tvOS, version 11, that the Atmos sign wasn't coming up on the actual amp. So I did a bit of investigations. Um, I'll show you what my findings are. So first and foremost, apologies for the... Um, the lines are flickered down. I've got the camera down as low as I can, um, but it still flickers a little bit, so apologies for that. Um, but if I scroll down to here for a second and have a look on the amp. So here's the amp. Um, you can see that it says, I don't know if you can read that just up here, but up here it says uh, DTS Neutral X, and that's not Dolby Atmos, it really isn't. Where well, we have, zoom out, we have a tone button here and we can swap it. We can move it, for, change the bass and what have you. And we have, over on this far side, a listening mode. So I change that, you can change it to Dolby Surround, you can change it to DTS Neutral X, TV Logic, all channel stereo, full mono, TD, direct, mono, blah, blah, blah. But again, there's no Dolby Atmos that comes up. Now I'm gonna play a video. Um, and I'm conscious there's copyright activity on that. So I'll pick one of the videos that I've purchased, but I'm not going to show you all of the video and everything like that. I'll just get it started and playing, and I'll show you what the amp says. So as you can see, we're running TV OS 12 on Apple TV. I'll go to purchase films. I'll pick a film that we've uh, recently purchased. Let's try something which is likely to have Dolby Digital. Um, let's go into here. Okay, we're going to start up uh, a film, uh, Alien Covenant in this uh, this case. And I'm going to go down to the amp and I'll show you what it does. This is TV OS 12 at the moment. So I'll hit play, going down to the amp. So the sound is on. But again, no Dolby Atmos. I'll change it over to DTS Neutral. No, not there. No, no, full mono, no, direct, multi tech, Dolby surround. No, neutral X. So the video is running, but I don't have Dolby Atmos. So what I've concluded by uh, looking on the forums on Reddit and uh, on the various Apple TV forums is that although tvOS may have Dolby Atmos uh, configured on it, uh, the content from Apple, so I use uh, iTunes and Netflix and so on and so forth, that's got to enable the content. Now I have tried Netflix. Um, on Netflix my experiences are um, I can't find any Dolby Atmos videos. Um, so what I did, I went onto the Dolby Atmos website and I downloaded one of their demo files and I've put it onto my laptop. Now I'm going to connect my laptop up to the amp using the HDMI cable and then I'm going to try and play that Dolby Atmos sound through the cable and see if we can get it working on the amp. That will prove that the amp's working and it proves that the problem is at the moment with the Apple TV and TV OS 12. So let's configure that. Okay guys, here is my setup. Here's my, my laptop and I'm running VLC and I've got a Dolby uh, DTS uh, Atmos audio file ready to be played. Um, here is the amp and the amp still says DTS uh, Neutral X at the moment. This is the first test I did, so I'll just play this and you'll see what happens.
Now, what you may have seen there is there's still no DTS sign on here, none at all. So I had a little think about this and think, well, I'm using the HDMI cable through to the amp and it's not working. A bit of research later shows that you have to have the right software in order to be able to play the DTS Dolby Atmos files. So I installed Kodi. Okay, we're now on Kodi. Um, love it or hate it, people do use this for pirating movies and things like that and, and playing or streaming videos. I don't personally use that, I buy all my videos. Um, I like to support the uh, the companies that produce these videos so I can go and see them on a cinema. But anyway, um, inside of Kodi, uh, we go down to videos section and then we go to files or go to the, my desktop actually this is my desktop and down here we have some dts files now on here i'm gonna run uh which one should we run we'll run the top one the dts dts animated logo lossless and i'm going to start it up and then i'm going to show you the amp and you should be able to hear the difference in sound just to check here it's a dts ma file keep an eye on the amp see that red sign there that's That, guys, is DTS. Hopefully you could hear the difference. So, the, what does it answer? It answers a couple of questions that, firstly, you can use uh, Dolby Atmos videos, so audio, across HDMI to your amp. And when you get the little red DTS sign on there, it shows you that you're using Dolby Atmos. Secondly, um, you have to use the right uh, application. In this, this case I'm using Kodi. doesn't work for things like VLC. And thirdly, tvOS 12 currently doesn't support, or certainly they may support it, but it's currently not using um, the Dolby Atmos sound files at the moment. So I suspect um, Apple needs to change their file quality back at the uh, Apple HQ um, before we can start playing those files. Now the other test I did do was use the same file to the Apple TV and again I still could not get the quality of sound that I've just experienced there. So I suspect they've got to enable a couple of switches in the next beta of tvOS 12 to make it work. Hopefully that's been useful for some of you, especially if you've been trying to get uh, the Dolby Atmos sound to your amp. Um, we now have a method of getting it working, although we still need to get the files from Apple because we subscribe to Apple TV and Netflix and things like that. Hopefully you guys you found it useful. Um, we've gone past 300 subscribers, so thank you very much. Um, and get ready for next week's video. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Debris Day. Thanks, guys. Bye.